project I'm working on right now is the uh, stabilator. So it's an eight foot stabilator. Uh, it uses a collar on the back side uh, to mount. And so what I've done is temporarily mounted the stabilator to the mounting ring. And then I have the mounting ring on, mounting ring on and held in place uh, by some uh, Clico clamps. So there's a couple things you have to balance, uh, level the frame and then level the stabilator so it's all level and equal. And then once that's done, do some measurements from the uh, fuselage down frame uh, back to the wing tips to make sure my distance. And so I've temper I've already kind of done those steps. And so it's about 90, 92 and 7 eighths on each side from that center uh, down tube. And then I've got it leveled out frame. I tried to adjust it. It's about 0 0.05 degrees uh, low on this side and so, uh, on the frame. So it's got to come up about point, well, 0.05. So I've got this matched to 0 0.05 here. I'm uh, just going to do one final check on everything and then I'll drill uh, some Clico holes and just make sure that the ring is against the, the uh, end of the, the tube. And we'll drill those holes and we'll get that far. So the frame of the fuselage is set and it's just sitting on the tires the way it is right now is 0 0.05 and the arrow up means that this, the right hand side over here is low so it needs to come up 0 0.05. Uh, I've tried to adjust that a little bit uh, with some shims on the tires but everything I have just it doesn't work. So uh, we'll just at 0 0.05 with a bubble level, it's pretty good. So then we take the level back here. Let's see, we have the mounting collar ring right there. It's uh, held in place by Clico clamps. And we come back and we've got it at the exact same. So it's 0 0.05 um, with the right hand side needing to come up, which means that the stabilator is matched with the fuselage. And earlier when we installed the vertical st stabilizer, that was also leveled uh, with the frame. So it has the frame was level and then the because that's an angled surface we just basically matched up the uh, both sides to be the exact same and when the, those were matched up that means that down the center of that vertical stabilizer should be exactly 90 degrees with the fuselage and with the stabilator so the next step is going to be to drill some uh, clecos drill some holes into the collar, the mounting collar, and click it in place and get ready for the final step. The other step uh, for the stabilator is to measure from the down tube to the end of the stabilator tip. So this is a bad angle, I'm going to try to get it with the camera, but essentially to that where the plexiglass meets is about 92 and 7 eighths. And then up here on the front side, you can see I made a black mark, and that is where the inside edge of the tape is. And when I measure from the other side, I actually rotate the tape so that the inside edge is on that same spot. That way I'm not having any anomalies from the tape. And we bring it back and do the exact same thing on this side and we end up with 97 or 92 and 3 eighths. So that means the ends of the stabilator are uh, equal distance and parallel and then on all three planes. So it's, it's level this way and it's parallel this way so everything should be good to go. This kit also came with a um, stiffening piece. That is this piece right here. And it's split, and so this will actually fit inside the tube. So once I get this drilled out, 
um, it will compress because of the, the slit right there, so it'll compress a little bit. It will go inside the tube, and then these cutouts on the top and the bottom are for the uh, control mounts, for the control rods, for the trim, and the, the rudder. So that will slide inside. I'll match drill the holes uh, from the collar once I've got those done. And then this will be urolane bonded inside. And then the collar will be urolane bonded on the outside. And then the rest of the uh, pieces will be put in. Titan Tornado stabilator. So that is the stabilator collar and the doubler plate. So the doubler will compress. fits inside and then it'll be glued, urolane glued and riveted and then the mounting collar slides on and will be urolane and riveted as well. All right, so the general plan is I'm gonna slide this actually over, which will hold it for me. I'll start at the back and just work my way forward because it's a thin coat. Now that I know it's all lined up, got a few Clecos in. Take the Clecos out. Blast some your lane on the outside. collar the weld goes down and my three holes go up all right SD 45s Tail well installation is complete. Uh, it was pretty straightforward and simple. The stabilator uh, collar was already in place and glued, uh, urolaned in place, and so it was a matter of just assembling the unit, making sure everything was square, and then putting it in place, drilling number 30 holes, and then using SD48 rivets to hold it in place. a little bit longer because I had to go through all the metal so tail wheel is in place so tail wheel is used when the aircraft is unoccupied unoccupied with the engine on the back the weight will be behind the center of gravity so the tail will sit on the ground and the, my kit came with a boom stand 
that while in storage or in the hangar or someplace else or out on the ramp, I'll actually have one similar to this uh, that will lift the tail up so it doesn't sit on the ground and hold it in place. But otherwise, out in the field when you're out flying and landing at uh, runways, etc., you don't have to pack one of those around. You can just drop the uh, tail on the ground and the tail wheel will keep the boom off the ground.